Hello, and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight, the question I am tackling is what's in the box in regards to this highly regarded card-driven game from AEG, or Alderic Entertainment Group. This game is space-based. I am really looking forward to checking this game out. I have not played the game before. I have not seen the components before. not seen what's in this box. But what I have heard is that this game potentially kills Valeria Card Kingdoms. And Valeria Card Kingdoms is one of my favorite games of all time. So I want to know if that's true. But step one is going to be to open the box, and we're about to do that. First off, I am going to cut the shrink wrap off. Then what I'll do is I'll read you the back of the box for those of you who don't know the game. And then we'll throw it down on the table, we'll tilt the camera down and show you what's in here. John D. Clare's Space Base, an intergalactic dice game of fleet management for two to five space base Commodores. United Earth Service needs you. As the Commodore of a space base, your job is to draft new ships into your fleet to work and patrol the 12 sectors under your watch. Use cargo vessels, mining ships, and deploy carriers to earn profits and expand your influence. Only one space based Commodore will be promoted to UES, Admiral of the Fleet. Space Base is a dice game where players draft ships into their space base. Every turn, no matter whose turn, players harvest rewards from their space base. Whether those rewards are an increase in your baseline income, credits for the next turn, influence, or some other powerful effect, that will lead you to victory. Space Base has you involved and engaged on every player's turn, from the first roll of the dice to the last. Gotta say it sounds good. All right, here we have the box for Space Base, cracking it open. You got the nice UV feet uh, on here. You get the UV coating on the ship, which is a nice touch. The box is, I don't know how to describe it. It feels odd. It's not the normal material. It's, it's a little thinner than some board game boxes, I think. And you can kind of tell that you know what it is, it's a pasted on, it's like a sticker on top of a cardboard box. It's got a unique feel to it. All right, we got rules. Just what we expected. Uh, the field manual, if you're, wow, that is a thick book. That is a really thick book. No, it says, learn display face banks at aldirect.com space underscore base, which a lot of people might want to do because, wow, that, this, is, this is not a small book. There's even a table of contents. So this is not going to be as light as I thought. We're looking at 32 pages here, um, though a whole bunch of it is detailed. So 16 pages of rules, and then the rest is going to be all kinds of reference material. Okay, I guess that makes sense. So it's going to be a lot of reference material for each of the different card abilities. I guess that's fair. Uh, we do have some fluff to introduce you to the space base setting. Uh, it's got a very cartoony look. It looks like something um, from an 80s cartoon to me. Oh, look at this guy. I like him. Ah, we are looking at the different components. I do like that they're showing you the backs of the cards. Get to see everything that comes in the game. Looks very colorful. That's about all I can say here. Um, text is a little smaller than I would have liked. Two column layout. Looks like lots of examples in here. Kind of thing I want to see from a rule book. You do have some background info. So there is some fluff and background added to this game as well. You've got your example set up. Large looking player board in front of everyone. Looks like a central market in the middle. I've got to say, for the people comparing it to Valeria, it doesn't look much like Valeria so far, but who knows? Yeah, there's a bunch of information here. End of turn, how to play, what you do on a turn. Wow, activating, activate. So these are a bunch of examples. So this is an example of the active player rolled this and what happens to the other players. So one of the big features of this game is that when it's not your turn, you're still gonna get resources or you're still gonna get something. So that's similar to games like Valeria Card Kingdoms or Machi Koro. Uh, then the end of the game, and then we have a description of all the cards. There is a ton of fluff in this. I didn't realize this game had so much background to it. Someone spent a lot of time creating a universe for this game. So yeah, these are all just references. I'm gonna flip through this a little quicker. I see lots of examples, nothing to complain about from the rule book having not read it. Pages are sticking together a little bit. Like, not in a bad way, just in a this game is new way. Strategy tip. Dice roll probability for those of you who haven't used 2d6 dice for most of your life. Look at this. What is this? This is the card list by level, class, then name. It's a lot of cards. 
has a lot of cards. All right. Now we see those very colorful, very busy looking player boards. Oh, nice three panel mounted. That's a nice player board. It's a long player board, but that's a nice player board. I have no idea. It looks like you got three different resources you're tracking. You got pots, spots to slot cards. Um, my guess would be these would be your dice results from one to 12. And you're gonna slot things in those various slots. Nice. I have to assume that's all I'm gonna find in this corner. We'll find out soon. Oh, nice, look at this. Nice molded box insert that's even more organized than it looks like at first glance. Bonus points. We got card packs, we're gonna save those for last. Dig into the other components. 2D6s. They're glittery and space-like. They kind of look like a star field in blue with little silver bits. And the one is a rocket ship. I like those. Those are nice dice. I wish the six was a rocket ship because then I'd want to use it for other games. Because usually rolling ones, you want the six to be the exploder. They're nice. They're little sparkly dice. Those are nice looking D6s. Next up, we have cubes. Can't have a modern board game without cubes. Lots of cubes. We got white cubes, lots of white cubes, green cubes, blue cubes. I'm gonna use this camera to kind of hold those up because most of those green cubes are just gonna disappear on this camera. See, it does weird things you can see through my hand. They're cubes, they're plastic cubes. Kind of thing you've seen in a million games by now, I assume. Nice looking cubes. Cube. This one's see-through because it's see-through, not because it's green. Next, we have two packs of cards that are different sized. Yes, so I have never seen that card size before. Obviously, those are gonna fit into this section of the box insert. That is a very, it's like the opposite of Hobbit cards, what I usually call Hobbit cards, which is a playing card cut in half this way. This is like a playing card cut in half lengthwise. Uh, the first one says starting player. We have a whole bunch of gray ones. Okay, I'll show those off in a second. So we're gonna make little decks here. So we can kind of see what number, then we have a whole bunch of yellow ones. I have no idea if these are player color based, possibly. Green ones. Red ones. Purple ones. Blue ones and start player. So we'll take a quick look through these. So you have artwork at the top and then a thing at the bottom. Unfortunately, my green screen is trying to get rid of the yellow on the bottom. So this has a four, it's got a description and it has two symbols up in the top corner, 12 and two. Not having played the game, I don't know much else. Um, so these all look very similar. Now we have a different kind of symbol in the top. Hopefully not everything has yellow in the bottom, since my uh, camera filter wants to get rid of them. So these go all the way up to 42, whatever that means, in the top corner. That was the clear ones. The yellow ones, here we go. These are some better colors. So we have a whole bunch of spaceships here. So, uh, interestingly, it's all the same art, but different colors. So we'll kind of hold this up here so you can see them. So this has a one and one, one, one in the top. This has a two in the top and one, one, a three in the top and one, one, a four in the top and one, one, a five in the top and one, one, a six in the top at one, one, a seven in the top. I'm starting to think these are your base ships. Uh, an eight in the top, a nine, a 10, and probably goes up 12. And then I'm gonna guess that that's probably the player pieces for yellow. We're gonna grab the player pieces for red, and I have a feeling I'm gonna find the same thing, and that is exactly what we have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Which we have for green, which you're not gonna be able to see, purple, and blue, the five players. We're gonna grab all these and I'm just gonna randomly put these into slots down here because I don't know how I'm gonna want this sorted once I actually start playing the game. My guess those are some type of starting ships. I don't know. Oh, these are the same size. I actually thought the way this was sitting in here, 
I thought that was those were normal size cards. I thought I was gonna pull out like a big deck and I got half a deck. So this is probably gonna be the cards you buy from the market. I had no idea the space base has like weird half size cards. Somehow in all the reviews and all the stuff I've heard about this game, I somehow missed that. So again, we're gonna split this up and see what we got. All right, these seem to be numbered probably for different like encounter areas or how far you are from the core world or difficulty or experience or how, how powerful the cards are. And there are definitely more one cards than two cards and even less three cards. Uh, I'm not gonna bother going through the whole deck here, but we have all kinds of things here with lots of icons and symbols. Um, you have different, the die roll in the corner. I'm gonna guess this number is probably the cost to buy the card. Here, we're just gonna shuffle through these. You can kinda see what you got. Without knowing the game, there is no text on any of this. So this looks very, well, sorry, there's a text, but it's like the, the name of the ship. Oh, here we get some more interesting abilities instead of what looked like just more purchase ability. Some more haulers. I had to say, it doesn't seem to drip with themes the way that some of the other games in this series. Well, now I know what these are going to be for. That's where the one, two, threes are going to go because you have three slots here, right? So twos, we just have more of the same as far as I can tell. Not knowing the game, this doesn't mean a lot to me. I noticed the numbers have gotten higher. Doesn't look like a lot of different variety though. Like it either gives rocket ships or it gives cost or it gives whatever these arrows are. Interesting. Well, that's something definitely new. Times two battery. Uh, planets. A lot of symbols. A lot of repeating symbols, though. So it doesn't look like two different ones to, to learn. So we're going to throw this up at the top here. And then we have the threes. I'm not even going to bother flipping through those. Same type of thing, right? Lots of ships. And that's it. That's all you got in here. So not a lot. Doesn't look overly complicated. I'm not sure what this trough's for or what, what they expect this to be used for. The dice fit here maybe, I don't know. So insert, looks like from my guess, lots of room for an expansion. And yes, there are, is at least one expansion out for this game. Player boards go on top, that's it, that's space space. Oh, we have a nice reference here. Here's where all those symbols mean. That is not a lot of different symbols. I, I was expecting a different, a higher level of complexity to this. Not that I'm saying that's bad. I have no idea until I play it. This could be fantastic and play really smooth compared to the games I'm thinking of. But I'm used to having a, like a, a reference of icons that's, you know, a page and a half long and 30 of them to try to figure out what all the different cards do. This seems simpler, which could be a great thing. Really looking forward to checking this one out. Space Base. All right, there you have it. That is a look inside the box for Space Base from AEG, Aldrich Entertainment Group, a uh, resource management tableau building game set in space where you were building a fleet of ships and doing something with them. Uh, I couldn't really tell that from the cards. Really unique cards. I had no idea before opening this that they were like, many games have small size cards, but what they are is cards cut in half, like playing card cut in half this way. These are cards cut in half that way. So they're long and skinny, it's unique. It's probably gonna feel really funky shuffling these. And I also, um, I'm not one of them, but if you are someone who likes to sleeve cards, I'm gonna have to assume you're gonna have to go to AEG to get specialty cards to sleeve it space base. Thankfully, I prefer to play unprotected, so I'm not too worried about that. Card quality was good. Card artwork was um, much more cartoony than I expected. Like I get it, on here it kind of looks cartoony. If I noticed him earlier, I would have realized it more. Definitely a little cartoony style, cartoony looking spaceships. A full background. There was a whole ton of background information on in the rule book there about like different planets and stuff like that. So it looks like they, they hired someone that did a lot of background work, which kind of fits because you know what AEG, one of the big things that got them going was writing adventure modules for 3.5 D&D. So maybe they put some of the creative juices to work to make a background for Space Space. So that's it. That's what you get in the box of Space Space. I am really looking forward to getting to this to the table in the next couple weeks and enjoying this with my family and finding out if it really does kill some other dice-driven engine-building board games that are out there that I love. We'll see if Space Base replaces them. 
So, I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop. I'm going to be signing off here. You just got to see what was in Space Base. But if you're interested in what's in some other board games, head over to TabletopBellhop.com. Click on the video section at the top and check out our unboxing videos. I also have reviews over there. So once I get Space Base to the table, you'll be able to find out what I thought about it over on the blog. In addition, I do answer gaming and game night questions. If you've got a gaming or game night related question, you can send your questions to questions at TabletopBellhop.com. Or you can head over to that website, tabletopbellhop.com, and click on Ask the Bellhop. Finally, if you did enjoy this video and would like to support our continued efforts, please head over to patreon.com and consider tipping the bellhop. I am Motuzano, Tabletop Bellhop. Good night and game on.